Yo, 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 what's the deal? What's the deal? It's your boy. Who is him, though? And we back talking sports. Might be a little late on this news, but <clears throat> I've been um, dealing with a cold and everything, so I apologize for the late uh, the lack of updates or uploads. But so the Suns are hiring Frank Vogel and... um. I mean, I really don't have nothing to say about this hire. We got to see what he do and everything. I think he got a raw deal in, with the Lakers and everything. They tried to basically make him as a scapegoat. But this is, is it a step down? I mean, he got a championship and Monty Williams don't got nothing. You could say, oh, well, he had um, AD and LeBron. Well, Darvin Ham just had AD and LeBron too, and he didn't. He won no championship. Oh, it was the bubble? I don't use that as a no excuse. Uh, congratulations to Frank Vogel. Um, it's gonna be kind of just talking about all the coaching hires and everything. Um, another coaching hire that I'm actually more interested in because it's with my team. If you know me, I'm a big uh, Warriors fan. The only team that I like more than the Warriors is my Detroit Pistons. What up, though, Monty Williams? What up, though? Six years, seventy-two million. I heard people talking down. Um, y'all, y'all love to talk down on the Detroit Pistons. Y'all look, they uh careers go there to die. Shut the hell up, bro. Shut up. Bro, please, please. We ain't had nothing but young players over the last couple of, what, five, six years, bro. And we finally got some good young players that actually didn't panned out. So Monty Williams, I believe, is a better coach than Dwayne Casey. <clears throat> what he is going to have to start doing, though, and what we're not going uh, what we not gonna do is him not making adjustments and everything like that. And I think we'll be better this year. That's not saying much as how terrible we was last year. But K was injured. Um, we got what trades during the year, and a lot. And K was injured. That's our, you know, what I'm saying our best player. If you want to be real, you know what I'm saying. I think this year we will be a lot better. I'm not making no predictions or nothing like that. I made a prediction last year and was way over my head, but I didn't expect. K to get injured and um other players to get injured either. So shout out to Monty Williams coming to the D. We're gonna see what he do. I think he probably could be maybe can get us to the playoff play in next year. We can get maybe to the 10th seed. As our players develop and depending on what we do with that fifth pick, you know what I'm saying? If that fifth pick pan out, if we package it up and try to get somebody, you know what I'm saying? I'm a Pistons fan for life. Whether we go zero and eighty-two or seventeen and sixty-three, it don't matter. I'm a Detroit boy, so you know I'm riding with my hometown. But you know the Warriors. I got family in the Bay too that grew up in the Bay, so I got ties from Detroit to LA. I mean to the Bay. So shout out to Monty Williams for his uh, for coming for choosing us. You know what I'm saying? He could have went somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? This is not really, you know what I'm saying? He's not going to win a championship next year. You know what I'm saying? This is a, he's actually got signed for six years, 72 million. This is a process. Not trust the process when he's doing that Philly shit. But I think he's a good hire for us, personally. I know a lot of people is down on it or whatever like that. Why would you choose uh, Detroit? They gave him the bag. And we can really see how good of a coach he is. Now that he don't have a KD or a Devin Booker, you know what I'm saying? So, shout out to um, Monty Williams. What up, though? This man who was in, though, with another video, man. And I'm out. Peace.